Hey guys, today we're going to draw this really cute dog. Now a few things before we get started. I want you to try holding your pencil towards the center and much more importantly, I want you to hold on to your pencil really loosely and that way we can erase our guidelines. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome to Drawing with Danny. This channel is not about teaching you how to draw particular things. It's about teaching you how to draw so that you can draw anything. Okay, let's go ahead and draw this really cute dog. Okay, just a reminder, try holding your pencil more towards the center and much more importantly, hold on to your pencil really loosely. Okay, so we always want to start with the largest shapes and so we're going to draw this part first and this part second. So we're looking for the largest shape relative to its head first. And here's a nice large shape that we want to start with, this nice oval that comprises the lower portion of its face. So let's go ahead and start there. Remember we can always erase our extra sketch marks, so don't worry about that. There we go. And let's go ahead and draw this part here, the upper part, which is an oval as well. And we could address the, this V shape um, now or later. So for example, if I wanted to address it later, I would go ahead and draw the oval first, like this. And then we can take that out. Now, Now let's go ahead and draw the, the nose, the nice oval shaped nose. You can see I'm going to start drawing the top of the nose higher than this part. And it's an oval with sort of a soft triangle point at the bottom. And I say soft because there's not a hard point. There we go. Go ahead and erase that part. And as we draw, we can always make adjustments to areas that we're not quite content with. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw. Let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and draw his eyes. He's got these nice, cute, oval-shaped eyes. You can't see all the eye. Part of it's cropped off by the nose, and the other part's cropped off by the top portion of its snout. Let's go ahead and draw the other eye. And I'm going to, like I like to do, change his expression by drawing lines through the eyes and his eyeballs underneath those lines. Now let's go ahead and draw its mouth. And that just involves drawing a line extended from its nose. And now we're going to draw a shallow letter U underneath that line. And we could do fun things like put teeth or a tongue. That might be kind of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and draw its eyebrows. And I'm going to go ahead and draw its eyebrows a little bit different than I did here. A little bit higher. And then too, they're just going to be basic oval shapes instead of a, a triangle shape. There we go. Okay, now what we can do is let's go ahead and address the, the triangle shaped hairs. It's extending from this part. See that? We just use this part as a guide on which to draw those hairs. And you can draw as many or as few as you want. Although I'd probably draw more than one. But that's up to you. Now let's go ahead and do this side. See, again, I'm using the shape as a guide on which to attach those hairs. And we can do um, this part as well. See, we're just going to use the shape as a guide. And go on this side, do the same thing. And we can erase our, our lines. And I've got a bunch of extra lines to erase on mine. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the part, well, the ears around that. So it starts at the top. So we may as well go ahead and we're going to follow the same shape. See, we're going to start this V shape in the middle. Follow the same shape we have going on here. And 
Initially, we just got to give ourselves that guide and we'll draw the hairs on top of this guide. So let's go ahead and do finish the V shape on this side. And we can see that we're going to go around like this, which will make the bottom portion wider than the top. Okay, now we can draw the triangle shapes as we did in this area. And we could give them a few more. So here's this underneath this ear. Give it a few more triangle shaped hairs. And erase our lines. And let's go ahead and do the other side. There we go. And it didn't have to be perfect with the other side. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and, and we can erase a little bit of the bottom part of this to make it consistent with that, or we don't have to. Okay, now let's go ahead and do its body. And as we did with its head, we want to start with the largest shape. And that's going to be this part right here. It's kind of hard to see through some of the hair, but we're going to go ahead and always make sure we start with the largest um, shape, and that is the oval shape. It's going to look something like this. Okay, now extended from that, we're going to go ahead and draw this one leg. And this is actually two shapes kind of a, a square or a rectangle, depending on how long you draw it. There's no right or wrong. I could extend it down to draw it longer or leave it about like this. I think I'll leave it like that. So I could close off this shape if I wanted to, or I can just go ahead and swing around and go ahead and draw the foot like that. And let's go ahead and do the other one before we draw the toes. So let's start about here. See how much space there is between the, the legs here. And we see how wide we have that leg. We'll make this one about the same width. And go ahead and draw the, the foot like that. So now we can get rid of our lines here, which might make it visually easier to, to draw the rest of this in this area. So let's go ahead and draw the, we're going to draw these triangle shapes here. like that. Now we can draw the triangle shapes on this side leading down to the leg on that side. I oh, almost forgot these. I guess I could draw those or I don't have to. Let's see. We can see how they look with and Okay. I, I Actually, I like it, so we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and draw its toes. And that involves just drawing two curved lines. One curved line and another curved line. Now let's do that on this side. Got one curved line here and one curved line here. Okay, oh, better draw the little hairs like I did on the other side and make it consistent. There we go. Okay. Okay, now. Now let's go ahead and let's see from here. Let's go ahead and follow this line and go ahead and establish the back leg. So see here's the back of the body. And we're going to draw sort of a curved line extending out from that. So see how it curved in a little bit and now I'm going to curve back out to draw the foot. Now actually I wanted to make sure that the foot is not quite as low as the one in the front. So see how much higher that one is. So we want to kind of, and then also we can, we can get a sense of how wide this leg is. And we certainly don't want this one wider. Um, if anything, it could be more narrow or about the same width. So now I'm going to make sure that foot is a little higher. And now we're going to draw the two curved lines for the toes. Like that. And I've got a, a little hair back there, which I could add or I might just leave it like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and address this part, kind of clean this up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw the couple of triangles here to 
indicate hair. And he looks awesome without a tail too. Okay, let's go ahead and draw its tail though. So we're gonna just draw, just initially give ourselves a guide. So we're gonna draw the, the shape sort of in a generic way, like this. And now we have a guide on which to draw the triangular shaped hairs. See that, now we can erase our lines and always remember that you can always make corrections, make things wider, more narrow, whatever you think you need to do your art. And I might draw just a few more little hairs down here. And there we have our really awesome, awesome dog. Thanks for joining me today. If you know of anyone who loves to draw, why not share this video with them? And also remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.